our first guest was part of a 90s group led by Kate Moss and Sadie Frost, who were famous for their somewhat wild lifestyles. Now 18 years sober. Yes. <laughs> She's a very successful interior designer and author. And just last year, she had another huge life change when she discovered in her 50s that she has ADHD. Here to tell us more, please welcome Polo. <laughs> It's so lovely to have you here. <laughs> this is the thing, isn't it? So many more women are getting diagnosed in later life. I know. It's just picked up. I know, it's, it's mental. I mean, I, I didn't think I had it. I was just so shocked. I just did this kind of online uh, quiz. Yeah. Like, and I just was like... And I came up, I, we got all our results back, and I was like, oh, my God. It actually says I shouldn't live at home, like, on my own. <laughs> you know, it's like, I was like, oh, no, what am I going to do? Anyway, it's quite nuts, because it led me to this diagnosis, which has been completely life-changing. Because that's just an initial assessment, isn't it? You can do online to see if you're, if you're showing symptoms, yeah. and then you went and had the full diagnosis. Yeah. But in typical ADHD way, it took you three years to do well. the next bit. Because <laughs> that's one I of know. the ADHD... Symptoms, isn't it? That 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 organisation organisation is incredibly difficult. It's very, it's a really slow process as well. I mean, yeah. there's such a long NHS waiting list that a lot of people just think I can't be bothered. Yeah. You know, so was it fair or was it organisation? Was it? I actually went to pro in the end because mm. it took so long to get a diagnosis. Yeah. I ended up paying privately, which yeah. is so expensive, it is, and yeah, it's really yeah. unfair as well because. Actually, it was, it's been incredible ever since, and I'm so happy that I went and did it mm. because it's been. What did it feel like when you were diagnosed? Because you are utterly brilliant. <laughs> it, it, to stay sober for 18 years is mm. incredibly yeah. difficult, yeah. one day at a time. <laughs> yeah. And I certainly know, you know, my husband has ADHD and 18 years sober too. And when we were both diagnosed, we went to this place of just, just trying to track. Everything in our life, looking for was were, were these answers to those questions? Mm. Did you have? Did you have that? Yeah, feeling? I mean, God, it was such. It was a revelation in a way because you know you look back at your life and you're like, okay, I'm, I was so I'm so impulsive and I've made so many, I don't know, bad choices in my life and I've kind of not in a. They say that you leave a massive amount of mm. destruction. Um, <laughs> And that's kind of what I do. I, our life is chaotic and our family life is crazy, but it's fun, but it's, you know, it's quite hairy at times. And mm. I think that now, having had the diagnosis, I really think before I do things, because I used to be so impulsive. Yeah. And I'd think later and then I'd be like, oh, no, you know. Yeah. Um, well, think, I mean, this is... living yeah. in the just, moment? Isn't mm. that what we were kind of taught, to, like, live in the moment, you know, life's too short, just go for it? I mean, there is a kind of philosophy that we... we we see as a positive thing going, mm. just do it, mm. how brave, aren't you wonderful? So we're kind of, I can understand the conflict sometimes of thinking I'm mm. too impulsive yeah. and is that ADHD? And I wondered, I, 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 was, I was listening to um, what you said and I wondered if some of the symptoms may have been similar to perimenopausal or menopausal yeah. because mm. some of the things you mentioned, like brain fog and things like that, I would have naturally maybe gone more towards the hormonal Reason. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, that's why women apparently are far less diagnosed than men because yeah. apparently we have so many things like premenstrual tension, then we have post, you know, we have yeah. a baby, and then we have postnatal depression, and then we have perimenopausal, mm -hmm. then we have, you know, obviously you go through the menopause. So it's harder to diagnose than men. And also, it's something that I've really found out. I, I've been reading so much about it, and apparently, you know, addiction is so high within ADHD yeah. sufferers. Really, so really right. a lot of people can't stay sober because they're not treating the ADHD, they're treating the addiction. Wow. Um, and actually, they're really closely linked because going we to self... That, going to that need for impulsive and dangerous yeah. acts. Exactly. Or we self-medicate yeah. through yeah. drugs, alcohol, shopping, food, food mm -hmm. whatever it is, we kind of, you know, we go off and we try and get as much, you know, for relief as we possibly can, which but, is, yeah. When what you as a oh. child, sorry, when you as a, a child, looking back now, reflecting now that you've been diagnosed, you know, in your 50s, I was, I'm dyslexic. <laughs> and when I was a kid, I didn't even know what that was, but I knew that something wasn't right. And my mum, my, unfortunately, my mum didn't pick it up because it was something that wasn't discussed in school. What was it like for you? Do you really reflect back now? Well, that's exactly the same. But, I was kind of... Yeah. I, I think I baffled my mum and dad because I was, 
you know, sort of top in history and English, the things I loved. Yes. And then I would fail in maths and physics and <laughs> chemistry and things like that. And in fact, with diagnosis, <laughs> they asked to look at your school report. Yes. No. When, yeah. Did they? Because no. there's such a pattern that will go through. So when people say, oh, ADHD, oh, well, you're a bit chaotic. No, this can affect your full life path, whether you get a proper education, whether you might wow. turn to addiction, yeah. whether your menopause, uh, menopause for women with ADHD can be really... Brutal. Brutal, <laughs> yeah. So it's so Absolutely important. brutal. But, I mean, I just went on HRT straight away. Because I was like, I know. And actually, I felt so much better having yeah. done that. But yeah. it, is, it is crazy. And I'm so pleased I did. And the reason why I want to talk about it is because... A lot of my friends say, oh, I'm in my 50s. I, I'm, I can't be bothered to get a diagnosis. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah. no, 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 you've got to. What it's made so you go good. online, though? What made you actually do that test? I, I think I was just... But, it was in lockdown, and I, yeah. me and my husband were just... I thought, oh, you've definitely got it, my husband. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, there's yeah. no way, because he's got the actual... Like, he's so hyperactive. hyperactive. Yeah. He's a drummer, and he stands on the spot, and he's always, like, oh, on right, the phone, yeah, he yeah, runs yeah, around, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah. And then... But I'm not. Like, so my kids were like, you haven't got it. You're so, you're so laid back, Mum. You lie on the sofa, you, you know. But <laughs> actually... <laughs> Misconception, yes. you see. A lot Absolutely. of people can be very still with it. Yeah, so, so. actually, I'm, I've got it more than he has. You know, I, I don't <laughs> think he has well, got it. Well, they say you're attracted to other ADHDers. Yeah. Because well, you really. there's this inherent, yeah. oh, I know, you're, <laughs> you're a bit like me. <laughs> Something else. So I um, did an interview with Rory Bremner. He got oh, diagnosed yeah. at 50. Yeah. And what I was found really shocking is that he said he was then kind of questioning his career prior to that diagnosis. Was he as good as he was? Was he yeah. that type of comedian, stand-up comic? Do you do you ever doubt anything beforehand or question yourself or think you're going to do something different going forward? Well, How I do, do you so feel? many things. I've got my... You know, everyone always says that about me, like, I've got my finger in so many different pies. And I was a singer, but I really hated singing. I loved singing, mm. but I just hated the whole process of it, like, getting on a tour bus with loads of blokes, you know, turning up at venues, which were really ugly. Yeah. And I was, like, completely in the wrong career. Yeah. And it wasn't until I got into designing that I was like, oh, I can create beauty everywhere. Like, I, now I design dresses and... All sorts of things. Yeah. And yeah. I love it Got so a great much. Great eye. No, but it's no, so you cool. really have. But I never thought that's what I. I spent years doing the wrong thing, right. and then as soon as I got into designing, I was like. Oh my it's God, sick. this is amazing. But that, doesn't that involve yeah. some organisation? Because, well, you know, when you the say. Medication helps with that because yeah. the really, yeah. executive thinking that you don't have with ADHD because of the lack of dopamine. Oh. So that's, because that, that's, that's why the diagnosis, whether you have medication or whether you have counselling on it, really can change your life. Oh my God, so much. And if you don't want to go on the medication, there's lots of other things like lion's mane. And, yeah. you know, I read this amazing book which really helped me because I, I felt really sorry for myself when I first got the diagnosis. I was like, poor me, going through <laughs> life all these years, like, yeah. struggling without yeah. any help. But actually, having it has been amazing because I've been looking at all these other things and I've been reading this book, um, The Drummer and the Great Mountain, and it's, it's so lovely to, you know, read it through the eyes of someone who's yeah. been diagnosed later in life and... Anyway, I think I, that's what I I'm want to do. Right that, 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 that ADHD, well. that, the incredible creative person that you are, you know, <laughs> you. it's very ADHD, isn't it? It is. So it there's is. positives and negatives always. Thank you so much, Oh, Bella. thank you for having thank me you. on. Thank you, and your new way. book's out soon, new yeah. interior design book. Lovely to have <laughs> you here. Thank you. Yeah. Thank thank you. you. Thank you. Any yeah, suspicions yourself that you may have ADHD, um, just consult your GP first of all.